Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, create your very own Minecraft server from nothing to completed and ready to play. So, let's get into it. First thing you need to do is head over to minecraft.net where you downloaded the game and over in just under buy now click on the download link and you're going to want to download the Minecraft server now we'll get into our downloads folder minimize your browser now on your desktop just create a new folder for your server or wherever you would like to save your server just move that into your server folder and run it. Now when you first run this you're going to get a few failed messages, don't worry about that, that's just cre uh, because the files aren't created but it will create them for you. Once that done you can type stop and enter that'll safely close down your server alright now what you need is you need your current IP address to get this you just type in my IP into Google and it'll show up right at the top there you just, just write that down and now Click start, type cmd, enter, and in the command type ipconfig, enter. Now you're gonna, what you're looking for here is your ip4 address and your default gateway. Write those both down. Alright, now we're gonna head over to portforward.com This site will has um detailed guides on how to for uh port forward your specific modem. So you, what you need to do is just go over to the router tab, it'll bring down a drop down menu, click on port forwarding guides and just find your modem type. If you're unsure about your modem type it should be printed on the bottom of, of your modem. As an example I'll show you how to port forward my one. Up in your address bar you're just going to run it right down your um, default gateway address and then for my modem I need to click on the NAT tab and go to add select custom server call this whatever you like for your server IP address you need just need to write down your IP4 address that you wrote down earlier now for all these um, fields you just need to write 25565 which is the um, port that the Minecraft server is run off. Change the protocol to TCP and UDP. Save that. And now you can close all that. Now just go over to your server again, open that up. You shouldn't get any failed messages this time. Yep, that's all done. Now open up your browser again. We're just going to check the port is open. So you're going to go to ugetsignal.com You just leave this remote address 
as it is. And for the port number, you're going to put in 2565. 2565. Click check, and it should say port is open. So that means you've correctly port forward. Alright, so if your port is open, your server should be up and running. You should be able to connect. I'll just open up Minecraft. While that's logging in, I'll run through some of these files for you. We've got our band, band players. All you need to do here is, if you have someone you want to ban, type in their Minecraft username. And to separate them, you just hit enter. Same with operators. Type in that username. Hit enter. Type in any others. Operators are people that can use the commands on your server. Now, we've got our server options here. The only things you don't want to change here is the server port and the server IP. Just leave that how it is and anything else you can play around with. True means it's on, false means it's off. Game mode 0 is survival, game mode 1 is creative. Now for you or anyone on your local network to connect to your server, you'll need to put your IPv4 address followed by colon 25565. And for anyone that is not on your network, they will need to enter your IP address followed by a colon 25565. If your friend has problem connecting to your server, make sure that your IP address hasn't changed. If it has, it just means that it is a dy dynamic IP address, which, mean, which basically means it can change at any time. Uh, to fix this, you just need to give them your newer IP address. Thanks for watching.